Welcome to day three of the Luxury Closet Masterclass. Today we're going to be talking about organizing and styling your shoes. Similar to how we did with hanging clothes, you want to organize them by style. So what we have or occasion. These are sandals, heels, kind of casual heels and boots. And how you want to organize them is by color. Again, with how we did with the clothing, you want to start with the light and fade down to the darker colors. Another thing you want to do is fade down to the bulkier items. So you don't want a heavy boot at the top. If you have a slimmer trimmer shoe at the top, it's going to make the open space that's eye level and above feel lighter and the bottom will feel heavier down here. So if you have, a sh if you've got more shoes than this, these shelves fit too perfectly. I really like having the toe of the shoe out. Some people might like to swift, might like to switch it. It can be, um, you can do heel out if you prefer the way that that looks. If you want to merchandise a little bit and just style or highlight a particular shoe that you love, you can take up one whole shelf with one shoe. But I wanted to show you what it would be like if you had more shoes and you needed to fit three on a shelf. So what you would do here, it is a little bit of a tight fit, but they fit. So what you do, here's how they would normally go on. You want to switch the left shoe to flip this way. So they just fit and they nestle right inside of each other. And you can see the toe of the shoe and the heel of the shoe. And then you're able to fit three here. Another really nice trick for making this look styled is to zip up everything or clasp all of the shoes that have ankle straps on them just to close it. Again, it's one of those extra steps that really is that taking it to the next level, but it does create that curated look that you want for your closet. Um, a little bit of work on the front end, super easy to maintain as you wear and utilize those shoes. You can do the same thing with flip-flops, casual tennis shoes, anything like that. Um, with the laces, you just want to tie them or tuck them inside of the shoe so that it doesn't look messy on the shelf. For boots, I like to do the same thing. So you might start with the slip-on heeled mule and then go down to a booty as your next section. And then you'll have your tall boots or knee-high boots at the bottom. Keeping those bulky items at the bottom is a really natural flow for your eye versus something really heavy like this being at the top. It's disruptive to the look of the entire wall. Again, we're going for that aesthetic boutique look. So with your boots to keep them from flopping over, you're gonna want a shaper in here. And I'm gonna link my favorite boot shaper um, that I get on Amazon. I'll link that in the course notes, but you don't have to spend any money to have your boots standing up. You can put a magazine in here. You can put um, something I've used a lot with some clients is smart water bottles. Um, they're tall and they are heavy enough. You can have them with water in them so that they stand straight up or they can be empty. That'll work too. You can put sand in them. I've also seen noodles like pool noodles cut to the shape or to the size of your boot to hold it in place. And it's really lightweight and help, helps keep the form and the shape of your boot. What you don't want to happen is for this to flop over while you're storing it and you get a permanent crease in your boot when you wear them, it will be visible and it may also, um, compromise the integrity of your material. For shoes like these that have a suede-like material, they really easily get scuffed up by the toe of the other shoe or the heel of the other shoe. So I'm going to link my favorite shoe care product from DSW to extend the life and the look of your shoes. If you have cute tennis shoes, and what I mean by that are like white Converse or any tennis shoes that have a really white sole on them, those are super easy to get dirty as well. Between wears or every couple of weeks, I recommend cleaning that off with a hot white rag or using a magic eraser to keep them looking bright and clean and new. While they are a tennis shoe, they're not necessarily an athletic shoe. You're usually wearing them for style, so keeping them bright and white will make your whole outfit look better. That's it for day three. We'll see you tomorrow with day four of the course.